It was the evening of August 30th in 1993 and heavyweight star Tommy Morrison was getting ready to fight Mike Williams in the first defense of the WBO belt he had won by outpointing living legend George Foreman a little over two months earlier. These two once met in a ring scene in Rocky V, the movie, but the events at Kansas City at the weekend stretched the imagination a little too far. But Williams, the man who played Union Kane in Rocky V, had promoters fearing the worst due to several missed media obligations, put the main event in jeopardy by refusing to leave his dressing room. Officially, the word is that he refused to take a drugs test, and he steadfastly refused to go into the ring. Keen to ensure Morrison's title defense went ahead, manager frantically sought after a late replacement. And we're told that he's fighting someone that they've dug out of the audience, that was sitting in the audience. And he quickly turned his attention to Tomashek, who was in the crowd as a fan and a potential backup. Tomashek was given free tickets to attend the fight on the off chance that Williams wasn't going to get into the ring. Sat in the audience, drinking a few beers, Tomashek was the epitome of a blue-collar character. Tomashek, the right hand, wraps him into the ropes. And that's it. He worked loading trucks at Shopco in his hometown of Green Bay, Wisconsin. The 1990s was one of the best eras in boxing as a whole, and Morrison was just one of many great fighters that helped the sport reach new heights. When we look at the heavyweight division, today we get to look at Tommy Morrison. A prime Tommy, the Duke Morrison, was a powerful hitter who possessed a great left hook. With just one loss on his record, a devastating fifth-round shellacking at the hands of Ray Mercer, Morrison was now on the comeback trail. Tommy the Duke Morrison, believing he was about to make a first defense of his world crown, the crown he won by beating George Foreman. With both fighters now in the ring, Michael Buffer began the introductions. The likable Tomashek received polite applause from the packed house in Kemper Arena. As the first bell rang, a shout wailed from the crowd. Tommy, don't hurt him, as Morrison landed a first jab of the bout. Tomashek then reeled off a combination to the delight of those cheering for the underdog. It was a crazy situation to find yourself in, especially with a belly full of beer. Mental focus has been a problem at times. Three weeks of spice and I don't want to stop Morrison targeted the head, largely ignoring Tomashek's invitingly rotund midsection. Cleary outclassed, Tomashek was using what he had. His movement early on was preventing Morrison from cleanly landing his left hook bomb. In the end, the fight went the way it was supposed to. Tommy, 
Tomashek hung in there until the end of the fourth round when he was pulled out of the beating. However, Morrison got the job done at the end of the fourth. In Las Vegas, Nevada. Detrimental to his health, his corner made the correct call and he wasn't allowed out for the fifth. Well, I think he was trying to frustrate me a little bit, but I think I'm sign showing signs of a, a very mature, uh, much more dedicated athlete. And because of that, we're able to get through situations like this. He's strong, eh? he's a very good man. And all the Morrisons, I know everybody, you know, and they're just too strong, too big, eh? Seeing everything now. A boxer who says after being beaten to a pulp, Jeepers Creepers. Tomashek would go on to fight 20 more times before calling time on his career in 1996. In Morrison's next fight, he was knocked out by Michael Bent in the first round. After winning six of his next seven contests, he was paired with Razor Ruddick in the summer of 1995. His reward was his long-awaited opportunity to face Lennox Lewis. They were two heavyweights on a collision course. But unfortunately for Tommy, Lewis was too big, too skilled and too strong in what would be a one-sided affair. Tommy Morrison, a top 10 heavyweight for the better part of 1991 to 1996 and unquestionably one of the most exciting fighters in that explosive decade, died on September 1, 2013. Former heavyweight boxing champion Tommy Morrison died last night following a prolonged illness. Tomashek got his 12 minutes of fame, though. Hello everybody from Green Bay. I love you mom and dad and everybody, hey? Bye. Boxing fans will fondly remember him for his guts in taking a beating from Tommy.